And then let me close this. I don't need that open. All right, and we should be good now. Uh, like I said, it's a shoot. This is um tr Terror Tracks Track of the Vampire. It's a fun FMV sort of game. Um about being like operatives of like detectives and you're going on 911 calls and you're you're being sent to figure this out I uh, saw what's happening it's a little like a B horror movie style stuff happening in it so it's gonna be really uh really funny and like you know trashy a little bit here and there but it's honestly um yeah well I mean let's go check it out wow. all right so as I said there's, there's only two options that pop up a and B you can uh, retry an option, or you can skip ahead. Up and uh, well, skip ahead to the next option. So that's really what it is, and you can pause it, whatnot. So, should be good. All right, three, two, one. And there we go. All right, that looks good. A little creepy. Terror tracks. Vampire. So one thing I did when Everyone I was looking into this, uh, was Everyone the yeah. Let me uh, actually, actually uh, lower the volume of the game a little bit. Police, fire, and medical personnel to rescue you. Few, however, know what happens oh. to the strange calls. Calls of a supernatural nature I think that should be good but yeah so one of the things that I uh, when I read into this was the fact that this apparently is based off an actual like choose your own adventure book I think it was that they then adapted into like a TV show and then this game is then based off that or something it was something similar to that which is really interesting to read out about turn you over to it now welcome to tracks interface also the weird this is always like weird 3d it looks like someone's like the camera is panning at it but then the, the model's moving i'm not sure if maybe it's like this is like a motion tracked head while they're talking and also what do you mean by untainted i will clearly print your options on the screen are you like this like it feels like i don't know decision becomes more urgent the colors will shift from also, by press to button, it means key. PD it's actually the A key and the B key. The I don't get why they say button. I, do I don't think anyone ever refers to like keyboard the keys as buttons. But and please stand by for the next but yeah, here we go. Well, how you doing, partner? The name's Graves, and I guess you and I are Graves. Together, Good name. Which of course means that uh, you get all the thrills while I take all the risks. Well, let me show you my ordinance. First off, you got your basic crucifix. It's garlic, which is most excellent for dispatching fang jobs, hairballs, and bite beads. <laughs> fang jobs. <laughs> Next up, you That's got a funny salt, uh, nickname. I got my holy water. Now I'm locked and loaded with 45 caliber silver specials. Nice. The idea behind these beauties is that they will get you dead. <laughs> Even if you've already been that way. And uh, you put all kinds of nasty business in these hollow points. And you've got to look back. I don't think they know what hollow... Well, if you put stuff in the hollow points, it wouldn't be hollow. Like, what? I don't think they know what hollow points me like mean or stand for. They let you hear what I hear, see what I see. They got autofocus and eye track and spectral enhancers so you can see the things that go bump in the night. So you mean night vision? Now, this little beauty here it monitors my heart rate, stress level, and temperature, and a bunch of other stuff that we don't even need to go. 
24-7's death of scope is cam. <laughs> You'd think they would have, like, you know, something a little more, um, I don't know, high-tech instead of just a part of a stethoscope when your glasses can see things in the night. Please, please, calm down and speak slowly and clearly. I am here to help. Vampire indicates possible extraordinary circumstances. I accept mission. Your options A. Dispatch operative to Oh, uh, let's analyze the call here. Analyze phone call. 911, what is your emergency? The liar, she lured me here. Slowly and clearly, I am here to help. Give me my blood back. What do you mean by back? Is an oath that all vampires take never to reveal the existence of vampires, which transcends personal animosities. Phone call terminated. Interesting. Track officer at the apartment of Vivian Kloss. Prepare for broadcast. All right, Trax, I'm stepping off the elevator, and I'm making entry. There, I got a dark apartment. Yeah, I think the door was unlocked. About this place. Really spooky. Who the hell are you? Oh, man. He's got a syringe for the blood. Officer. Officer. Oh, well, why does... I guess maybe to knock him out? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check the window here. I got a bunch of broken glass up top and down on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna trade over the balcony. Man, it must be a three-story drop track. So why don't you send out a coroner? Nah, check that. Send out a garbage collector with a hefty bag and a spatula. Wait a second. There's no body down there, tracks. Should I go outside and look for? Uh, I think we should look for it. Search the apartment a little more. We can go down there after, if we can. Might be more important data here. Another black cat. They didn't cross its path. Yeah. Dead movie stars always give me the creeps. Oh, dead body. On the floor over there. Looks to be like a female in her late twenties. Oh, she was bit. Once was anyways. I'm gonna check for pulse here real quick. Nah. Oh, goner seems. Well, no. Yeah, vampires don't have um blood like fang whatever they're called um a blood pulse. I guess she was. Why the whore? Was that a bull noise? <laughs> I'm okay, Trax. I don't know how, but uh, I'm alive. Uh -oh. She could have killed me, but she didn't. Must have been my charming good looks. <laughs> the cliche, like, like B movie sort of uh, looks like we had a dialogue. I love it. Progress. What a couple of saps. Uh, what do we hear? A doctor's bag. Doctor's bag. Let's take a peekaboo inside. Blood bags. Ah, uh, blood bags. Made house calls. <laughs> Let's see, we got, uh, so I guess this was like um. Scalpels, man, all the usual fang job party favors. A quick uh, snack. Have we here? In between uh whatever, or to save it, maybe the blood from the body. Select option now. Uh, search apartment a little more. I feel like there should be more here. Let's check the couch. We get a purse over here. And... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I hear something. Nah, it's just a sizzling sea. <laughs> Never met an undead who didn't puff. Of course, <laughs> I guess they uh, don't have much to lose. All right, I'm searching a purse. Oh, a big book here. 
check today's entry. <laughs> oh man, this chick sure had a lot of dates. Different guy every single night. What a tramp. Please. Mm, a woman of the night, apparently. Attitude of officer. Let's see what you got in the goodie bag here. Your usual bag of tricks. Scamming losers who can't get real dates. Let's see a commercial here. Work the swing shift. My love life used to do the graveyard shift. Can't date until <laughs> real late. I thought it was too late for me. Then I found out about late. Yo, it's Harry. The following emergency call was forwarded to us from 911. Oh, a new call. Please analyze and deploy a second tracks officer. I will monitor Officer Graves and break in when appropriate. All right, let's see. Yeah, what do we got here? Emergency. That's okay, ma'am. I can hear you just fine. Electricity? What? and help is on the way please keep it's like a puzzle <laughs> okay ma'am tracks i'm referring this call to you we accept case i'm also dispatching interesting our officer will vacate scene before they arrive reanalyze yeah, here 911, what's your emergency please you have to come quickly and save me i can't Voice pattern indicates stress level six. Th that's okay, ma'am. I can hear you just fine. Voice your possible shock victim. Or possible shock victim is code red. Pull their eyes out. Oh my god. Authenticity verified and approved. Uh, ma'am, listen, help us on the way. Tracks. Please keep talking. Yeah. Alright, this is like kind of screwed up. Tracks, I'm referring this call to you. We accept case. I'm also dispatching parents. Also, what's with this, like, Our mother background here? Before they arrive. Hi, my name is Alice Walken, and I'll be your guide for this evening of death and destruction. I understand that you're our new tracks commander. Well, we go through tracks commanders like whales go through plankton. Anyway, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I am not like Graves. I am not a psycho. Well, I'm not exactly the picture of hell, or I wouldn't be chasing boogeymen in the middle of the night, now would I? <laughs> but the deal is, I want to know who I'm killing before I kill them. That's the difference between me and Graves. Anyway, the next time I see you, I'll be at the crime scene. All right, let's see what we got here. I am patching in Officer Graves. We will return to Officer Walken when she arrives at the home of Nicole Novak. Okay, sounds good. Let's see, where's he? Alright, we're at the late date place. Okay. <laughs> what an ashtray! Businesses crawl off and die in places like this. All right, you want me to check it out, or you want me to head in there and do some business? Let's uh, scout it out. He's a little Please more smart. Be careful. Okay, Drax, I'm walking around the building. The place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Better to hell. look into the building before you go in because you don't know what's in it. There's a babe on the phone. So yeah, it's a call so center of some sort. It's too cheap to pay for a house call. No, one There's of us. Shadows. Okay. <laughs> Could be a couple of females. Ooh la la. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of funny business going on in there. Let's get the surveil vision out and uh, see what we can see. Hold on. Yeah, nothing. I must be getting spooked. Let's, let's dial this in real quick. Straight for my throat, Wendelin. And you called 911 
So why would you call 911 if you know he's a vampire and you know yourself is a vampire? Yeah, You're stupid. It's Dr. Hemos. Oh, here he comes. He gets in there. Uh, let's continue. I don't think we should arrest him yet. Right track's last chance. Rest inside. Alright, I guess I uh, clicked too late. Be I haven't done anything. I have no criminal record. Please. What you say for somebody who cares? Hey. What's going on out here? Hey, that's the guy I tried to chop. Oh, we won't listen this time. Yeah, boy. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Officer One Heartbeat has stopped. Officer One dead. Well, I'm kind of glad he's dead. He's starting to bug me anyway. That does not negate the fact you owe me a refund. Oh, we don't owe you anything. What's the big idea trying to rip a fellow vamp? You should know better. I dislike the tawdry manner in which you operate in this country. What did she think she was doing, calling 911? She should be staked for breaking the blood oath. Oh, oh, God, give me a break, will you? I've only been undead for a month. That is no excuse. Hey, it's 1990, not 1890. <laughs> the blood oath is history. When we're finished slurping, let's just trash this place. Okay, then. Yeah, well, no problem beating those cops over here. They're never around when you need them anyway. Well, I mean, I guess we lost one officer, so... Let's figure out what we can do with the second officer. Suburban dollhouse? Yeah. Oh, a topiary tragedy. Isn't that special? <laughs> Looks a little dark in here. Not a good sign. Staticky electrical sound. I'm smelling some phony wire or something. It's not good for what we uh, heard. I mean, the whatever it is is still here. You got to stop him. Oh man. Where is she? Oh wow. That sizzling sound. That's him. Oh my god. Think the way I like to do business tracks. I'm gonna use flash and sound suppression. Problem tracks. The flash seems to be hurting me more than the bullets. Oh, hell, I might as well empty my clip. Either he's just charging or oh my god! Oh boy. Oh well, I just game over it, I guess. Your command of tracks well. has been an abject failure. You wasted the lives of two officers and failed to capture or terminate either the Succubi, Hemos, or Sugs. You are finished here. We will be watching you. If you divulge any knowledge of tracks or our activities, you will be exterminated. Uh oh. Well, I guess that's one path, so... So I can... what button is it? That quits it, so let me start it back up again. And go for another round. Alright, let's go through. one what is your emergency? What was the button again? S or F? F, okay. A. Dispatch operative to it's deploy. Since we already did the uh, B. Thankfully, we can skip through and get back to where we are. At the apartment of Vivian Kloss. Prepare for broadcast. Alright, let's skip ahead. There's no body down there, Trax. Let's, let's go A this time. Let's search for the body. Change it up a bit. I'm gonna motor outside the apartment and see what we can see here. All right, I'm directly below the window on the parking garage driveway. Plenty of broken glass, but no road pizza. No <laughs> road pizza. <laughs> here are your options. Here are your options. 
Uh, let's go back to A. Let's pursue it. Officer Graves has acquired Dr. Hemos and is following him. I will patch you into him now. Alright, Hemos is ahead of me and he doesn't have a clue that he's being followed. He drives pretty well for a vamp on Bloodlust. Alright, let me get a lock on. Doing pretty good so far. Let's see. 3JYW666. Of course. The vehicle is registered to Dr. Peterson. Gotta love the cliches in this. Our files, old world vampire. He has cooperated with us on several occasions. Well, thank hmm. you for sharing, Aether, but let's cut to the chase. You are authorized to track and observe Hemos, but do not take violent action against him. Gee, how'd I know she was gonna say that? I hope this does not prove too great a disappointment to Officer Graves. <laughs> and like all cops, I just love seeing killers go free. Frankly, Trax, if I'm not gonna bag him, I'd be better off searching that apartment and finding out what crime he just got away with. Trax Command, we have received another 911 call. Please issue an order uh, to Officer Graves. The search apartment. Alright, I'm stepping off the elevator. Well, Officer Wannabe, why don't you go get a donut, pal? <laughs> so let's just check back in here, see what we got before. So we already know where he's going, probably. He's probably going to go to the uh, doctor's. So. Nothing of any. Wait a minute. We All right, we already saw this there. stuff, so let me skip that. Select option. Uh, now let's investigate the hospital. It's really the other stuff we don't need to know. All right, here we go. The emergency okay, hospital. Tracks. I'm here at Metro County Hospital. It's a big old place from here. It looks like a giant tombstone. Officer Graves, please enter the hospital. If I didn't know any better, I'd think it was at the morgue. <laughs> Another satisfied customer. Very nice. This place looks like it's on its deathbed. Yeah, I need some help, lady. Excuse me, sir. You'll have to fill out this form. Don't you save a tree, sister. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Dr. Vetus Hemos. Dr. Hemos is no longer affiliated with the hospital, sir. I can't say I blame him. Any idea where he went? I, I, I'm not supposed to talk about it, but... It caused quite a scandal. Scandal. Well, scandal. Uh, Interesting. Very controversial research. Oh, I could get fired for telling you this. No, I'm snagging a card. It saves that conversation. Uh, who are you anyway? Oh, sorry, ma'am. I get fired for telling you. Please don't tell anyone that I told you this. I wonder if this boy came in for a tonsillectomy. <laughs> Adios, Mr. <my> Chester. <laughs> the following emergency call was forwarded to us from 911. All right, now here's the second one. So we did do decent progress on that this time around. Officer. I will monitor Officer Graves and break in when appropriate. Yeah, 911, what's your emergency? All right, we already heard that. Our officer will vacate. We already deploy uh reanalyze the call, so we can skip that as well. Get the head. Graves has arrived at the alleged address of Dr. Hemos. All right, now we're at the Hemos part. Oh, oh he has a lab. It's right next to the hospital. I sure as hell isn't the part of the place you see in the brochures. Very nice. Very, uh, sci-fi. What happens if your insurance isn't paid up? <laughs> So he's doing like. Right, Hemos, I'm here for my checkup. Must be down Do you really want to announce yourself like that? Doctor's office. Like especially against a vampire, like. On, wait a second. Don't worry about a thing, Officer Graves. I'm only going to kill you temporarily. When you come back, you'll be even better than before. Oh boy. Officer Graves, vital signs terminated. I will dispatch corpse retrieval unit. Interesting. Yeah, well, no problem beating those cops over here. <laughs> I think he might have been uh, turned into a vampire or something. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, that 
cute little suburban doll. Let me, we already seen this part, so let me skip that. All right, here we go. It's hold fire this time around. Hey, relax, handsome. I'm not gonna shoot you as long as you start talking. You know, you got a right to kill me. I'll just tell you what my mom was stolen from me. What are you talking about? You recognize his face. I am Sobs. Always be Sobs. What's he saying? It looks like our city's finest are finally here. Evacuate. Listen, I gotta go. I promise I'll find your eyes. Hey, I thought you were a cop. Well, I'm not the normal kind. If they ask, I wasn't here. Don't worry, I didn't see you. <laughs> well, for her, her condition, she's uh, she can quack a nice uh, witty joke there. People are supposed to see before they die. Officer Graves has been mortally wounded at Dr. Hemos's lab. We are picking up communications from his monitoring system. I will patch them in. Oh, so he's not dead. Got dead. Isn't so bad. Let me just liberate this from you. My, what an amazing toy! Great <laughs> tracks. I've got Suggs on a rampage and Graves and Hemos's hands. Uh, let's rescue. Well, no, let's research uh, Sue's first. Uploading relevant information on Otis Lee. Suggs. Suggs, not Suggs. The was taken minutes before he was executed in the electric chair for multiple counts of first-degree serial murder. There he is. Are we on Mr. Suggs? Mr. Suggs. Suggs. Mr. Suggs. Otis. Suggs. Otis. Hey, yo. Otis. 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 What did you do for your last meal? Otis, how did you treat me? I'm a, Otis. I'm a what killing machine. That's what I am. It's not my fault. That's what my mom and daddy made me. I want to keep on killing. <laughs> keep on killing. Oh man, it's like traditional, like crazy. You have no right to kill me again. We believe that he was reanimated by Dr. Hemos after he oh. has been donated to medical patients. Interesting. It appears. He is now trying to retrieve them. The following is a list of organ donations. His eyes were donated to Nicole Novak. His heart was donated to Gary Minhart. His kidneys were donated Well, you, you signed yourself as an organ donor, so why does he want his organs back? Uh, let's, let's go investigate Sandy. Metro County Hospital. Okay. I'm entering Metro County Hospital. Oh, Jesus, the place isn't the best argument for staying well I've seen in a long time. I keep taking those chewables. Hey, excuse me, where's the ICU? I'm sorry, ma'am, visiting hours are over. That's great, but this isn't a trick question, Einstein. Remain calm. Every, there is nothing to remain calm about. Everyone, everyone, Thanks. please remain calm. She a lot of she is. This is pure chaos. Winding through hallways. Okay, that's a sign. This is it. Where is the backup power? Like hospitals usually have backup power, and if there was like an overcharge or power surge by like you know electrical entity like this, generally you would have like backup power going on. Doesn't seem too yeah, realistic. Flash I mean, yeah, too realistic of a vampire game. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Who is this? Listen, we've got reason to believe that you've been targeted by an attacker. We want to move you out of here, sir. Ain't nobody know how, no where gonna run me off. Too many times. Any evade shooting won't work. Now you're going to find out how I felt when I got fried. Forget the gun, douse him. Anything sparking that much, he's a good fan. Thanks for the tip, Roscoe. Oh, that's good. 
tracks, I think Suggs is running out of power. If we're gonna nail him, we're gonna nail him before he recharges. Bear in mind the previous ineffectiveness of your silver special. All right. Doing good so far. Tracks command. Officer Walken is pursuing Otis Lee Suggs through Metro County Hospital. Be ready to authorize gunfire. All right. Observe the sanctity of civilian lives. Well, why should I? Nobody else does. <laughs> Someone's coming. I didn't even. Oh, dang, dang it! I didn't even click it. Time. That was way too fast. Well, now it's a corpse. You have violated the tracks charter regarding the lives of non-tainted humans. You are finished here. What the hell? Really? Wow, they really make you uh have to go like make sure you're doing everything completely right. Who are these people? So, concept. Peter Marks. I think if I no recognize any name from any other games I've played. Or have they gone on to something else? A lot of people worked on this, surprisingly. I mean, not really too surprising considering how like in-depth this is. But honestly, it's a really cool looking game. Like, just how short, not short, but the uh, concept behind to make a FMV game for like a choose your own adventure. Like, I mean, you don't really have too many, like, you know, I literally am only pressing A and B to decide things. And so you really don't have uh, much way of uh, switching up things. But it is kind of neat. A lot of special thanks here. Yeah, this was a 1995 game for uh, context and then this closes out all right so i think i'll do one more run and then i should be good so really this, like i said this will be a very uh short just checking all the things out and since you can skip parts of it you can just go real fast your options a dispatch go a or b so we don't really need to see all the uh, same paths again and again. Officer at the apartment of Vivian Kloss. All right, and then this There's one. Down there, tracks. Should I go outside We're going to search for the body. The well, actually, no, let's check the uh, apartment first. I already did that. Select options and then now. let's investigate the hospital. All right, we did that. Our officer will vacate scene before they arrive. Let's play the officer. Skip that. Officer Graves has arrived at the alleged address of. All right, we did that. Yeah, well, no problem. We did that, and then this one's going to be the hold fire. Hey, relax, hands. All right, we did that. It looks like our city's fine. All right, cops get there. On my way to the hospital. Every time I go through this tunnel. All right, we're doing that. I'm just going to go to rescue Graves at the lab this time around to see what happens this time. Patching you to Officer Walken at Dr. Hemos' lab. White streets. Not hey, too crazy. Officer Graves' motorcycle is parked outside. Enter with extreme caution. Only Graves is not a vampire. To exterminate humans if necessary. Well, let's hope it's not. I've heard of him and he's a museum piece. <laughs> I'm inside. Lab seems empty. Empty except for the pall of pure evil, perverted human science and death. Uh, death loves it here. Danger. 
I have voltage. When we touch. When we kiss. There, that's probably him. I think we both know who it is. Draw your gun. Check under shrouds. So he looks fried. <laughs> oh boy. Shoot him in the heart with a silver special. We cannot take a chance of reanimation. I can't do it. Sentimentality is not an option. Oh boy. Officer Graves would be a very powerful servant of the undead. Shoot him. Oh, thanks, Trace. All right, let's do this. I don't know why. Oh, it's me. What the hell are you doing? Oh, man, really? Officer Walking is dead. Officer Graves is a servant. Let's go back. Officer Graves taking out Hemos's car. I knew he'd show up here. Wait, what? In buildings. Been hearing creepy stories about this place since I was a kid. I press C to go back. Why is it? Just fang job as soon as he gets out of his ride. Did it like He's glitch or something? All right, Trax, you want me to go up there and toast him or wait him out? You know it's got to worry about sunrise. Not Approach me. car. Wait. Uh, whatever. Let's wait. Okay, Hemos, you're coming out. Or not. See, the what button inputs are starting to get faster and faster. I like a good smoke. All right, no answer. I'm gonna burn this creep. Beware of traps. There, there's nothing in the car. Well, Wait, you turned into a bat, duh. Turn the heads up on here. I'm gonna try and track it. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's what it is. Ugly sucker. <laughs> They really can turn into bats. Maybe that's what happened in the Vivian Closet apartment. That's a fake looking bat. Looks like it's time for a little skeet shoot. Eh, let's shoot the bat. Why not? It'd be funny. Targeting. Targeting. Got a beat on him. <laughs> we shot it. Hi, that's amazing. It's fried chicken. Say either if uh, Emo ain't going to be needing this car. Leave the car to be discovered <laughs> by police. You are that is amazing. Duty. That's what I get for asking. Otis Lee Suggs is still on the loose. However, you were successful in exterminating the succubi of Late Date and Dr. Hemos. These were important targets. Officer Walking is dead. You are on probation here. So she died, and I guess he survived. Interesting. Officer Graves taking out Hemos's car. Officer. Officer yeah, I think it glitched for some reason. Because if I press C, it went back to this, meaning that whatever happened after. Interesting. Let me exit back out of that. Let me just do one more, actually. I want to go the other path on this. This is like a little short, little fun game, so it's not like too bad to uh, just explore around in it. Let's skip this. Skip that. Your options: A. Dispatch Let's play the officer. This time around, I'm gonna try to see if I could get out of the um the what you call the date night place. See if anything could happen there. There's no body down there, tracks. Should I go outside? Let's see. Explore the apartment. All right, and then let's search the apartment more. All right, and then we get this. It's to the late date. Dates. All right. Yeah, nine one one. What's your emergency? All right, then we're going to this now. Our will Deploy the officer now. 
And then we will over here scout the exterior. Before they get wise to me. Please be careful. Skip ahead. Right, this time we're gonna just watch him. I don't want to rest him outside because that's a horrible idea. Never confrontational with a vampire. I feel like that's always a bad idea. So uh, continuous surveillance. Arrest inside. All right, here we go. It'd be smart just to see what happens in there. useless against us don't play dumb with me pal you know who i am and hmm. where i'm from only question is if you're going with me dead or undead oh unless i'm quite mistaken you don't have any victims and you don't have a case oh you're right but i'm not taking you to the station i'm taking you to the lab <laughs> they're attacking tracks freeze pal one's dead two dead three dead Nice. Well, tracks. Late date is out of business. This case is closed. Big time. Not quite, Officer Graves. Please pursue Doctor Hemos. So that was the best Point path forward. Present. He is in a dangerous state of bloodlust. Please do not terminate him until I grant official authorization. Officer Walken has arrived at the home of Nicole. No all right, so now we're on to the next one. So we made the best path forward there. Yeah, well, no problem. All right, so we want to hold fire here. Hey, relax, handsome. I'm not going to shoot you as long as you start talking. Skip that. Uploading relevant information on Otis Lee. Skip that ahead. Let's go investigate Linhart this time around. Transmitting live heads up from Officer Graves. Well, tracks, as you can see, I got Hemos locked in my sights. Looks like we got a little nasty. So this is new here. here. So I wonder what's gonna happen here. Eh, guess not. Well, okay, tracks. If I can't kill him, what am I supposed to do when I nab him? Call him over to Bloodsuckers Anonymous? <laughs> It's not gonna work. This boy's probably been doing this for hundreds of years. Officer Graves, I now rescind the non extermination order uh, on Hemos. You're talking, babe. We are authorized to exterminate Hemos. Uh -huh, sweet though deal. it would be of some interest to interrogate him. Alright. Alright, this looks going. gonna be pretty good. Shortcut. Background briefing on Hemos available. So oh, background. Um, yeah, let's read it. The following information is extremely sensitive. It will be destroyed upon completion of extermination order. All right. Wild bloodless, bloodless, regular redness, oil fixations, high bloodless, pointed ears, angry rage, stage two. Age three. Oh, nose for Atu. Trax first became aware of Dr. Vetus Hemos in 1987 after blood was reported missing at Metro County Hospital. He was, in fact, the culprit. He escaped mm. Trax with Interesting. a proposition. In exchange for his own survival, he would provide vital information on vampiric activity. We accepted. Statisticians had noticed a significant drop in so-called serial killing since that time. Only tonight did we discover that Hemos had an agenda all his own. Mm. Reanimating the dead. We suspect for the purpose of attacking tracks. Hemos has violated our agreement. Therefore, you are authorized to exterminate. It is of vital importance, however, 
that you locate his laboratory and neutralize it to prevent the escape of other creatures like Sarlacc. Sounds like a good idea. Walking has reached Metro County Hospital. All right, so we're at the hospital now. Is this normal? Nurse, I need to find Gary Linhart's room. I'm sorry, ma'am. This, oh, this is different. Over. Yeah, that's great. I'm not here for high tea. I'm trying to prevent a murder. Oh my God. Jeez, that power didn't go it's off naturally. I said, where's Linhart's room? Linhart's room. It's interesting they did a different take. Jeez, she's useless. I have to find it myself. Chaos. Where's the kidney ward? The kidney ward. End of the hall. Jeez, everybody dead after around here. All right, now we're getting uh, to where we're supposed to be. Yeah, this looks like we're right there. Come on, come on. Is that it? No. Looks like the end of the line for Oh. Uh, uh, let's search the room. If that was Linhart, then who's this? It's Corpse City. Oh, they found him. Oh, dang it. Did he really die? Uh, let's go back. Officer Graves taking out Hemos's car. All right, yeah, this is definitely uh bug then. Abandoned buildings. Because C is supposed to go back one, but it's going to this specific scene. So I guess the game itself is bugged. He's not getting out. All right, tracks. You want me to go up there and toast him or wait him out? It's got to wait about sunrise. So wait. Get it, tracks. Unless Hemos is taking a siesta, something's very wrong here. He hasn't gotten out of his car, and frankly, I can't see him in it. Wait a second. I, uh, All right, and he died there. Well, I mean, I guess we got everything, um, basically out of this. You succeeded in killing the succubi, but Doctor Hemos and Otis Lee. But yeah, I think that's basically uh, it for the most part. I mean, you get the idea. It's like, what, there probably is one more path I would have to do correctly. Very obscure. Like, oh, you have to do this specific one instead of, you know, doing common sense investigate. But um, outside of that, I think uh, it's actually for the time. Like an FMV, like sort of like horror game is actually pretty fun. It's not even horror. It's more like slock. Like slock, spooky, scary. And honestly, it's a really fun little game here. Um, uh, you could probably play it yourself, like say, like oh, write it down. You you watched it and whatever. Um, and then like next year, you play with you know some friends or whatever because it is a very a goofy, slocky game. Um, basically, barely like it's barely like of its it's of its time, but not in the negative way of its time. Um, and it's always fun just to play an FMV game because it's like, it's always laughs and hat, like, and all that nonsense where it's just, you know, chucking about, like, chuckling there, here and there. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think it was a, uh, fun little game here. So, losing stuff like that. So, yeah, with that out of the way, um, I bid you adieu. And I hope your guys' Halloween is awesome. So see you guys tomorrow. And we're going to be trick-or-treating and uh, taking on Unova together uh, with Jitch and Bryce. So, yeah. Have a good night, guys. Peace.